Hey Scorpio, this is going to be your love and general reading for March 1st through the 15th for you guys. Scorpio, we have the devil in the reverse, could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you have Capricorn in your chart, okay? Um, the devil card in the reverse can signify detaching and releasing yourself from a toxic situation, okay? We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This could be regarding a love relationship of some sort or some sort of emotional bond, an emotional connection to something. You are releasing it because you are coming to the realization that it really was toxic for you, okay? And the next card we have is the Seven of Cups. And so now you're you're kind of at a standstill like, what the hell do I do now, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify the devil card. It's all ice cream and stuff. I love it. Devil card. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be a close bond with somebody like direct family, a friend of yours, um, a work situation, work environment, um, society, what have you. There is something that is coming to an end. Let's see what else wants to um, come out. And I also feel like you're leaving behind something that was boring you, like a boring job or um, just someone who wasn't very enthusiastic, I want to say. We have strong Capricorn here. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, um, this thing, whatever it was, was blocking your blessings was blocking you from having um, a clear direction. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Um, and with Eights, um, I, I see the number Eight as like deep transformation. Um, Scorpio, you rule the Eighth House as well, okay? So we have two Eights here. Um, you know, Eight of Wands reverse could be some sort of blockages. You could have blocked somebody, okay, either off social media. You could have stopped talking to somebody. You could have stopped granting access to somebody. Like, you know, if they have a code or a key to your house, to your gate, what have you. I see that being removed from them here, okay. I also feel like once you end whatever this situation is, you are going to feel stuck after you do all of this. It's like you you know you want to move forward, 
but you're still going to be stuck in your head about the situation that went down, okay? The next card we have is the Ace of Cups, but it's in the reverse. So there is no renewal of some sort of emotional bond here. Yeah, I feel like with this person or this thing, the passion's gone. Like, there, there's no more passion here. It just seems very boring and apathetic. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, not hopping not hopping or rushing back in to um, rekindling something here or starting something new. It's like you're in no rush really to start something new again here. Um, but I do feel like you totally made a decision to end something. And it's like part of the reason why you could um, not be wanting to hop into anything super soon is because you're still going to feel stuck. You're still going to feel confused about the shit that went down here, um, the Emperor. But one thing I can tell you is that you are on your shit. Scorpio, you are on your shit. You are taking care of the things that need to be taken care of here. Um, you got people to take care of. You got things to do is what I'm seeing. So I see you just focusing on yourself, uh, focusing on your businesses, things like that. So Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo is what I'm getting here, okay? So I feel like you're more focused on work instead of love right now. Um, in regards to general, it's like you're trying to get back on your shit. You're trying to get your shit together as well as what I can see here with the Emperor. Some of you guys could want to start your own business. Um, switch jobs, move into a higher position, um, buy property, what have you. Okay, and the next card we have is the Seven of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles here, okay? Um, so yeah, the first or the fifteenth here, you're going to be confused about um, some sort of decision you have to make or there's going to be like different options, different opportunities, different things that are going to be presented to you that's going to leave you confused, okay? Um, I don't see you making any uh, erratic decisions. I don't see you rushing into any new beginning, new start here. Maybe you don't have enough information, or maybe you're just trying to feel your way through with the King of Cups here. Use your intuition. I feel like that's going to be key for you here, especially being in Pisces season and you are a water sign, your sister brother sign. Um, but with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this lets me know that you don't have all the information. This lets me know that you may be confused. Um, or you don't want to communicate yet, or someone here might be telling lies, okay?
Yeah, I feel like if, in regards to love, you guys have options, and you are trying to figure out which one you really want to give your time, energy, and efforts to the most here. Um, you're having a hard time deciding who you want to uh, take out or who you want to further a connection with. Or if you want to drop the person, okay? Let's see, I want to grab a card for the Ace of Swords. Um, I'm seeing career changing. Career changes as well. Some of you guys could have left a job, what have you. Could be changing careers or starting up a business, like I said, and you're just very confused. You don't know um, what to give into. Ace of Swords, we have the Page of Wands and the Reverse Wheel of Fortune here. So yeah, you're not going to make any um, decisions. I don't see you hopping into them. I don't see you giving somebody an answer is what I'm getting here. Okay, but with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you are going to make the the right decision, though. Even if you don't choose somebody or choose a decision, with the Wheel of Fortune and showing upright, it's like things are still going to go in your favor for you here, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is also events that are going to be quite tough, but are truly going to be for your best okay now let's go ahead and see what the next set of cards are We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. I love to see that. I love to see the Two of Swords reverse. You are finally allowing yourself to see the truth of a situation or there is some sort of realization or truth that was, um, that has came out that you now know of. Okay. Two of Pentacles reversed. So we have two twos options. Yeah, in, in general and in love, Scorpio, you guys have options. Five of Swords. Okay. So Scorpio, if you would like to watch the extended reading for only one dollar, you can do so by clicking the link down below in the description box where you can also find personal reading prices and ranges from there as well. So thanks Scorpio, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.